everyone, this is Joan, and you're looking at a picture of DMX in concert. And this picture came from the CB News channel. That's where I got it from, where they got it from, I, I don't know. But in any case, um, my condolences, because as, as you undoubtedly know, DMX passed this morning, or at least they announced it, the family did this morning. And they said from a drug overdose. Now, I hadn't really given much thought. It's kind of like if they said it's a drug overdose, I guess it was a drug overdose. But then I heard other people saying that he had taken, what well, was a family member saying that he had taken a vaccination so that he could travel to perform and that they think that that, that might have had something to do with his timely his untimely passing at the age of 50, um, I can honestly say I don't know. I mean, it might have. The, the vaccination, as far as I, well, it hasn't been out long enough to be tested, so maybe, maybe not. But in any case, what I was also looking at is the background. That's why I chose this particular picture, because it had the red background or it has the red background that uh, Mary Forty mentioned in her video that you you can you usually start seeing performers with red backgrounds before they pass or they pass soon after you start seeing those pictures and I don't know who does the lighting or even who dresses them because you know as you can see he's also wearing a red shirt and it has a cross on it and uh, also he's wearing sunglasses now I think that he probably did that pretty often I'm not sure but I know that psychologically when you see someone wearing sunglasses and you see no real hint that there's a uh, sun shining in their eyes it generally could be interpreted that they have some sort of a secret something that they don't want you to know now, when, when I look at this picture, or when, well, actually, I looked at Dr. Shauna on her channel talking about DMX and his background, how his mother abandoned him, his father had already abandoned him, how he was homeless, and basically, she's stating that this is um, common, not common, but this happens in the black community and that if you look at the listen to the read the lyrics to one of his songs in particular he talks about the pain that he has endured and that how and how this has made him the man that he is so what i wanted to add to that is that is looking at it from a well a spiritual because i don't really want to say religious but looking at it from a, a spiritual perspective, I think that the devil reigns from pain. Okay, part of the reason why I think that they try to, why you see so much pedophilia allegedly with occultism is because they want to inflict pain on a child to open up their consciousness to outside control or spiritual control and also once a child at a very early age is abused they may not remember the abuse they might have the characteristics of someone who has been abused but if you ask them they might tell you no I, nothing like that ever happened I came from a very happy home because they can't process it it could cause something called a split now, the thing about psychology is that some of the techniques that they teach people to use to assist people in healing are some of the same techniques that witches use. It's kind of like witchcraft. Anytime I think that you are trying to trick someone into change without them consciously knowing about it, that that is what you're trying to do, that that is akin to witchcraft. I know that that is definitely not going to be a popular view, but I think that I'm not really looking so much for popularity as for truth. And 
if you, like I said, even look at what he's wearing, he's wearing red. His background is red. And he's also wearing a cross. So he did talk about, as far as I know, because I was not really a follower of DMX. I liked the song, Y'all Gonna Make Me Lose My Mind. And I liked him from Romeo Must Die with Aaliyah. But beyond that, I really wasn't paying him very much attention. And I think that you really don't. Now, I think I heard he sold 120 million units of music. And I think that you just don't get that high without really, um, you could say, I don't want to say selling your soul because I don't know if that's what he did, but I don't think that you get that far in this world that is at the moment being ruled by the devil without doing something. And I think that what happens is the devil wants people in pain because then they'll do whatever to get rid of that pain. If everybody was just walking around here and he was not causing some people to live in extreme poverty, other people to live in abusive situations, they would not be so receptive to to doing whatever it takes to alleviate the pain. So he causes the pain. Then he offers the means to end it. That is also a description of what a lot of narcissistic people or characters is a it's a trait of a narcissist and as I said in the other video when I say narcissist I'm basically talking about anybody who habitually abuses anybody okay that is if they are physically emotionally psychically financially they're doing this habitually to people who are not doing anything to them, then to me, that's, that's a narcissist. Now, I know the technical term might be sociopath or, or whatever, but when you are in a situation where someone is taking advantage of you and you find, you feel that you cannot get out of that situation, you probably don't care very much whether they should be called the correct term. You simply know that you're in pain and you want the pain to end. So that's why I tend to just kind of lump them all together and say this: these are people you might want to avoid. So basically listening to Dr. Shauna, she states that when his mother left him and he was homeless, he was searching for people to belong to and that made him vulnerable to people who were out on the street who saw that he was talented and decided that they could use this talent, allegedly. So that also would fit in with what happens with people who are raised by narcissists. The narcissist who raises the person sets them up for the next generation. Well, they are the next generation, but that parent will set them up so that they will repeat the pattern. This child will be used to being abused, but at the same time, they won't know it's abuse. And if I said, if it's physical or sexual abuse and it happens early enough, they won't even know, they, they won't remember being abused. If you ask them, they'll say, nope, didn't happen. I, everything was wonderful. I just think I'm weird. That's pretty much what they'll say. But that weirdness came from some place. There was some damage done. And the psyche is trying to wake the person up and let them know what happened. But at the same time, it's fighting because it doesn't want to think that its parent could let them down that much, could do something. Because if this is the person who brought you into this world, who you're constantly being told should love you, and take care of you well then how can you go forward into the other into the into the world and meet other people if this is what your parent did what can you expect out there so the child would rather call themselves weird rather 
say that it's something wrong with them than to accept betrayal, which is what you always get from any narcissist, narcissistic person. If you stick around long enough, you will be betrayed. That's what they do. And I do think that everybody's searching everywhere, especially with psychology. And I think that it's already told you what narcissists do all through the Bible. If you actually look at it, if you look at it beyond what you're told in church, because church, especially for black people, from the very beginning, certain things were kept from you because they didn't want you to know they didn't even want you to know that the people there, that you descended from them. These were top secret things. So if you want to know, you will have to read and you will have to think. And this is definitely the time for it because if you look around at the world, everything is pretty much coming apart. I mean, the finance, the finances, the economies of pretty much every country, they're all falling apart. So, you also are seeing a lot of rappers dying. I mean, this is the biggest name I've heard of so far, but it seems like a year ago, wasn't it like three? Three of them died kind of in succession. So, and also... These things do happen in three. So we have him, Prince Charles. No, I'm sorry. Prince Philip, I think. Uh, he just passed. So maybe there's somebody else that I don't know about. But the thing is, if you look at people who study, um, I think it's, well, Satanism. They have something called altars. So what that is, is trauma induced into a person so that they will develop an alter, that is an alter ego. And in psychology, it's dissociative identity disorder, but it's pretty much the same thing. And I think if you really look at it, psychology and Satanism are kind of describing this. Well, they're definitely describing the same things, but the thing is to traumatize someone to the point where the mind splits and has to develop an alter ego to protect it, to protect itself from further harm. And you hear that with many of the celebrities where they, they have one name, but then they have another name to protect that particular persona. So none of this is in any way saying anything negative about DMX. Like I said, I I knew of him, but I didn't follow him or anything. I don't really follow anybody that much. Because, um, well, again, I wish um, <clears throat> um, condolences to his family and his friends. Because it's a horrible thing when anybody passes at any age, you know. But, um... Also, if you notice, he's wearing black and white um, Masonic colors in this particular steel. So I think, like I've said before, I really don't think anybody gets that far in this world that is ruled by the evil one without having to have taken some sort of initiation or something. But, you know, who knows? Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. And as far as taking the shot again, the family member, according to this article, CB News, definitely states, yeah, he did take it. And um, he, he is not, he is no longer with us. So uh, rest in peace and try to um, dust off your Bibles. Because I know pretty soon you might not be able to. And there was someone else called EYA who I'm not sure if she's still on YouTube. But she looked at Bible changes. Now I know that certain things have changed in the Bible. That doesn't mean that it's still not a valuable book. 
but I do believe that certain things have changed. So read as much as you can now while you